What is going on Warriors? This is your man Johnny F here and in today's video we're going to be running through a specific evening routine that you can start mirroring now to create your next level life. So let's get right into it. Welcome to Next Level Warriors, so good to have you here. And for anyone that's new to the channel, we cover a variety of personal development topics to help you build your warrior within to become your next level self. So if that sounds good to you, then join the Next Level Warriors by hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications to catch my videos posted every week. So what does your evening routine look like now? Does it help you to recover from your day? Making time to see how it went, what you learned, what you achieved? Does it help you to really wind down? To unplug and get to bed with a clear mind, getting deep quality sleep without any worry or anxiety about the next day because you've already clarified what you're doing in the morning. Now, if the answer is no, or kind of, then you're not alone, as this is actually how my evenings used to be for the majority of my life. Even months after I started implementing a solid morning routine, I came to realize that the foundation of an even stronger morning routine actually starts with how we recover and wind down in the evening before. Shifting away from poor consumption patterns and things that we do at night when our willpower is completely drained that creates contradictions in our life with who we actually wanna be, the goals we wanna achieve. First things first, before you start implementing any of this, it helps immensely to design your environment, to remove friction from following through on your intention of this evening routine. So you're gonna need to choose the time to unplug. The time that you start your evening routine is best to have it be the time that you actually shut off your screens, laptops, televisions, and definitely your smartphone. The best I find is actually a solid hour before your bedtime. However, because I know how challenging this was for me when I started it, you can make this 30 minutes, but one hour is really the sweet spot for many, many reasons. Now that you've got the time set, you need something that acts as a trigger, like a switch that gets you into that mode. This is the action that your brain and body will come to understand as the true time to wind down. A simple thing for this is brewing some herbal tea to get the process flowing. While the tea is doing its thing brewing, this is where you'll want to set your phone onto airplane mode and definitely put it away, making sure that any screens, including televisions, laptops, basically all digital distractions are laid to rest. The time to really wind down. And for those of you familiar with my channel, you probably know what's next. This is where you'll want to get out your journal or a notebook to really recover from your day. So take a sip of that relaxing tea, open up to a blank page, and give your day a quick review. Write out what your wins were for the day, what you're grateful for, what you felt challenged by, what you can take from those difficulties to make tomorrow better. From here, let your mind flow through your pen with whatever wants to come out and take as long as you need to with your journal. It's a safe space where you can build your imagination, clarify your goals, process your troubles, it's up to you. And while I don't really suggest interrupting your journaling flow, if this is new to you, you can keep it as short as five minutes. I actually find it better when building a new habit to keep it short so that it never really feels like a chore. The point of this evening routine, beyond the benefits to your mental and physical health, is that it's something that you get to do instead of something that you have to do. This will increase your chances of implementing it in your day-to-day -day so that, inevitably, it requires zero willpower. If you're used to creating a plan for your day or a to-do list in the morning, then forget about it. I mean, this is something that I used to do until, of course, I added this to my evening routine, and I have to say, it's unbelievable how much more energy and drive you can wake up with in the morning if you know exactly what you're gonna do, if you're going to bed with it already laid out. This is why design trumps willpower. By planning out your day the night before, there's no need to decide what you're gonna do in the morning while you're still groggy. I've always found that when I didn't do this, it was much easier to hit the snooze button or sleep in because I haven't actually clarified a purpose for myself that day. Now, if your morning consists of sleeping in as long as possible, immediately plugging into your cell phone, rushing to get ready without any time to actually give yourself, well, then you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So I trust that you're already on a great path with your existing morning routine, which I do have a bunch of videos on that you can check out here. But back to the topic here. Once you've reviewed your day with your journaling session and of course had some more tea, then plan out your next day. Make your to-do list. 
This can go into your planner, your journal, or another piece of paper. Why do this in the evening, you ask? Well, the reasons for this are many, but here's the big one. Design trumps willpower. You are designing your mornings for the greatest levels of success. You're making the decisions now from a calm, clear, and unplugged mind. Think about this for a moment. Would your next day be more grounded and effective if you woke up without the need to figure out what you actually need to do? After all, trying to make sense of these decisions from a place of grogginess will typically lead to failure. If you do this, there isn't a clear purpose, and thus it's far easier to hit the snooze button and sleep in than actually wanting to get up on time to work on what's really important to you before the busyness of the day comes in. Whether it's getting a workout in, meditating, learning new skills, building a business, accelerating the process towards your next level self. Maybe you don't have that many decisions to make in the morning. Maybe you're living on autopilot, going through the same mundane routine where you don't have to be creating your future self, where you dive immediately into your phone's notifications in the morning, starting your day off in a reactive state and heading right off to work. Regardless of where you're at, the fact that you're watching this video should be absolute proof to yourself that you're heading in a better direction that you've grown a greater level of awareness for these things and you're either already implementing these strategies or getting ready to. So where are you at right now? What do you think is holding you back the most? Let me know in the comments as I read and respond to each and every single one of them. None of us are alone in these challenges we experience in life and clarifying them helps to bring extra awareness, helping to guide us onto the next steps and even hear from people that have been struggling with where you're at or still there. So don't be a stranger. Before you get to bed, if there's still something else that you wanna build into your evening routine that doesn't involve electronics, then now is the time for it. You can read a book, take a few minutes to meditate, visualize your future, pet your cat, feed your fish, whatever it is, so long as it's in line with winding down, this will be the best time for it. Now, while it may not be easy to break away from your current evening consumption patterns, starting an evening routine like this, especially by intentional design, instead of leaving it up to chance, will have a noticeable effect on your life. And believe me, when this starts to compound over the months, you'll wonder why you waited so long. Likewise, you can thank me now by hitting that like button, subscribing for more future videos to help you become your next level self, and being a part of helping this channel grow as you grow. Yeah. Uh...